What's up guys, I'm Steve Cook, this is Jacob Hunt <laughs> Hutton. I just, said, I just said your name wrong. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Steve Cook, this is Jacob Hutton, AKA the Vanilla Gorilla. On a side note, I'm wearing Jordan because Jordan is the GOAT. If you disagree and think LeBron is, we're gonna fight. But today, we're going over thoracic mobility. All right guys, so when you think about trying to bulletproof your body, there's certain areas of your body that you wanna be mobile, and there's certain areas that you wanna be stable. Like honestly, you want stability and mobility in all areas, but these are kind of the things that most people need to focus on when they're in the gym. So if you go from the, if we're talking about the joint by jo joint approach, if we start at the ankle, you're gonna want your ankle to be mobile, your knee to be stable, your hip to be mobile, your low back, your lumbar spine to be stable. And then once we get to the thoracic spine, which we're talking about today, you're gonna want that to be mobile. So let's say you have a tight hip. A lot of people with tight hips, that's gonna radiate pain into your low back because if you can't get hip extension, it's usually gonna put people in overextension in their lumbar spine and cause issues down there. So the same thing goes for your thoracic spine. If you don't have good mobility in your thoracic spine, there's a good chance that it's gonna radiate to your shoulders, you're gonna have shoulder issues, neck issues, and low back issues. So today we're gonna go over our favorite routine to help you clear up that thoracic spine and help you gain some mobility in that area. We're gonna be doing a little soft tissue release right now. We are using, it's a foam peanut, but you can also just tape two lacrosse balls together. That's probably gonna be the best actually if you wanna get really deep into there, or even two tennis balls together. So what you're gonna do is sit down on your back, you're gonna put the peanut right basically at the bottom of your thoracic spine. And what you're gonna do is just do, from this bottom position, hands straight out, you'll just do five sit-ups. So let's say Steve's done five, then he's gonna roll forward two to three inches, and then do five more. And basically, you're gonna roll up your back two to three inches. It should be about four to five sets all the way up your back, just opening that up a little bit. So another way that you can add even more pressure to that is just gonna be to grab a plate. If you don't feel like that's deep enough, and then you're gonna press up. There you go, good. And that's gonna really get deep into there. So a lot of the times when I do this, my back will pop, it'll just open up a little bit. Good, do five reps, and then slowly inch your way up all the way to basically right in between your shoulder blades will be your last set for that last five reps. Now that you've worked through your soft tissue release, the next thing we're gonna do is just do a stretch real quick. So you're gonna need a foam roller um, or PVC roller, any type of roller that you have. Usually I put it right around below my shoulder blades. And then from there, you're gonna lay back, put your hands over your head, and then have a partner, or you can grab it yourself, have a plate, and then basically just relax like this. So ideally, you would lock your elbows out too. It just depends how mobile you are. Notice how Steve's legs are straight out. So that's gonna let his lumbar spine be more in extension. If he curls his legs up, it's gonna put the lumbar more in flexion and you can feel a lot more pressure that way, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. So the higher you get your knees closer to your, basically closer to your stomach, the more tension there's gonna be in your thoracic spine. So we usually, we'll do the peanut and then spend about two to three minutes just hanging out here. Try to straighten your arms if you can. The more that you relax into it, so Steve's lat's probably a little bit tight. That's why it's probably hard to completely straighten out his arms right here. But the longer you sit into it, just try to stretch out even more, bring those knees up and then just relax. Deep breaths, belly breaths. Deep belly breaths. Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> All right guys, now we're gonna be going into the activation part of our routine. So what we're gonna do is have you sit down Indian style on the ground. And the reason that we're doing this is that it's really gonna put your lumbar spine in flexion. So it's gonna close you off right here. Next, you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your head. Try to get your chest nice and high. And then from there, you're gonna turn to the side. Try not to bend over at all, forward, and like and bend to the side. There you go, good. So that's one rep. Keep trying to push further, bend as much as you can. So the goal here though, notice how Steve's leaning forward a little bit as he's going to the side. You wanna to try to stay as upright as possible, turn, and then bend. There you go, good. Usually, posture up, turn, bend, posture back up, turn, bend. Three on each side, um, then we'll rest for about 30 seconds and do that three more times. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this video on thoracic mobility. I know I need work on that. Chances are you guys could definitely benefit from doing this. If you haven't checked out the previous video on lower back pain, make sure you do so. We wanna talk about preventative things, so even if you don't have lower back pain, make sure you check it out and do those exercises, and we'll see you guys next time.